Hello, Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. This is Dee with Metaphysical Moonlighters, and this is your March 2019 astrology forecast. Now, this month, I'm bringing you pictures from my hometown, New Orleans, or New Orleans, and uh, so those are the pictures that you will see in the background, okay? Now, remember, don't get hung up on exact dates. Because if you are sensitive to energies, you can feel the energies of the planetary movements before they actually happen, even after the exact date. And also, it also depends on whatever else is going on in your chart. Okay, so always remember that. Now, let's get into the monthly forecast. For you, Sagittarius, a lot of you, your focus will be on your home and your family life in March, okay? And that is because there will be a concentration of activity in Pisces. And for you, Pisces is your fourth house, okay? So we have the new moon in Pisces. We have the sun in Pisces part of the month. We have, the, we have Neptune in Pisces all month. Mercury and Venus will be there towards the end of the month as well. So that's why for a lot of Sagittariuses, the focus will be home and family. So remember that throughout this month. Now, on the first, we have Venus in a square to Uranus. And this is an energy where everyone is going to want excitement, even if you have to provoke it. Okay. Excuse me. So because Venus will be in your second house at this point in the month. You might find yourself wanting to gamble, take chances with your money. And also, you will notice that a lot of people will be flirting more than usual around this time. Okay, now, when the moon is in a conjunction to Saturn and Pluto on the 1st or around the 1st, you will actually find that Emotions are going to run deep around that time. However, you might not want to deal with whatever is going on. Okay. And then we have Mercury going retrograde on the 5th. We have the new moon in Pisces on the 6th. We have Uranus entering Taurus on the 6th as well. Now, between the 5th and the 7th, this is going to be a great time for reflection and just... um just reflecting on your life basically it's going to also be a great time for meditation because of the fact that when when we have moon actually when we have the sun in a conjunction to neptune this is an energy where your intuition will be increased however you won't want to cope with everyday life so that's why i say between the 5th and the 7th, it's a great time to meditate and just reflect and let answers come to you. Because you have a lot of go a lot of planetary activity. You have Mercury going retrograde. That's always good for reflection. Um, you have the Sun conjunct Neptune. That's excellent for meditation. And then on the 7th, you... We have the Moon in a conjunction. I'm sorry, the Moon in a square to Jupiter and that's a great time where you will have help in looking on the brighter side of life okay when the moon is in a square to Jupiter that's a great time for looking on the brighter side of life okay and then when the moon is in a conjunction to Mercury it's it aids you in talking about your emotions okay so between the 5th and the 7th is going to be a great time for reflection, for meditation, and for talking about your emotions. Now, between the 13th and the 15th. On the 13th, you might have a burst of energy because of the energy of the sun squaring Jupiter. However, you just need to watch out for committing to more than you can handle. Okay? And then on the 14th, the 14th or around the 14th is going to be a great time to do something that requires a lot of endurance. And that's because of the fact that your patience will be increased around this time. Okay. And then on the 15th, you will be filled with optimism 
and it's a great time to make big plans and set long range goals on around the 15th. Okay, and then we have the spring equinox on the 20th. And this is a great time to to work on things you want to change, okay? Because not only do you have Mars in a trying to Pluto, but you have the full moon in Libra around that time. And for you, Libra falls in your area of your life dealing with friendships, okay? Now, also, you will have the help of the sun entering Aries around that time. So between on the 20th, it's a great time to work on things you want to change. And that's excellent because the spring equinox represents the ultimate change. Okay? Now, this is the famous the famous Bourbon Street. And you can there's lots of bars, restaurants, lounges, lots of things to do on Bourbon Street, okay? Um I don't recommend you take your kids here after dark. Uh, because it can become risque, but it's a really fun place um, to visit. Now, on the 21st, we have Venus in a square to Mars. This is an aspect that really might test a lot of relationships around this time. Okay. And then we have Mercury going direct on the 28th. Okay. And remember, with Mercury, you always have that shadow period with Mercury. Okay, now on the 24th, that's going to be a great time for dabbling in mysterious topics around that time. Okay, now I do recommend you visit New Orleans and check out Mardi Gras. These are, this is a picture of the Zulu tramps and they are responsible for getting the crowd excited during the parades and during, you know, whatever parties they have. And this is a picture of a streetcar. I do recommend you take a streetcar ride while you're there. Uh, there's a lot of things to see. I mean, New Orleans does have a lot of mansions and a lot of nice things to see in New Orleans. But anyway, that's everything I have for you. Uh, please share this video with um, your family and your friends, even on social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to press the like button. Now, also, check out the new horoscope app from Cheetah Mobile. Uh, they have a new horoscope app, and it is great for, for if you want to check your horoscope on the go. And if you would like to sign up for my astrology class, just visit my website. And also, like my Facebook page, Metaphysical Moonlighters. And that's everything I have for you. So until next month, Sagittarius, have a great month. And happy Mardi Gras.